Hello and welcome to Ghost Up Tales here once again and I found this uh, Cool of the Wild. Alright, leave no trace quiz. So yeah. Basically you should I should score ten out of ten, if not I should skip the bottom and get scrubbing on my knowledge. Before I he I head out next into the world You're out in the wild and nature goes what do you do? Yeah. Depends if it's just a piss then there's a just stand by a tree or crouch behind a bush if you if you you know but by the look of things it's talking about shits so people must dig deep so solid human waste should be disposed de deposited into a cat hole dug about six to eight inches deep after use the hole should be covered over and disgorged uh, Holes should be at least 200 feet away from water, camp and trails. All toilet paper and hygiene products should be packed away and not buried with the solid uh, waste. Okay. When building a campfire in the back country, the best wood is to is dead sticks and twigs that are on the ground. Only use sticks on, from the ground that can be broken by hand. Even dead bush branches that are still attached to the trees provide important habitats for animals and insects and there should be a comma there and should be left alone. Uh, burning large branches also proposes poses greater risk to the surrounding area and can easily become out of control. Here is an expert who is exempt from the leave no trace principles. None of the above. Anyone who spends any amount of time in the wilderness areas, including pets, should respect and follow the leave no trace principles. And teaching kids the principles at an early age is essential, key to the future of our wild places. Yeah, the amount of beer cans and all the rubbish I've seen there uh, out in the wild so, so is ridiculous. What? Yeah, what? Which of the following is not a leave no trace principle? Uh, leave travel and camp on a durable surface be considered others uh, uh, reduce your impact on the land by traveling alone. that one although traveling in a large group group can have a greater impact on the land than the small groups there are no there are some scenarios where it is not recommended to travel alone small groups are best uh, when wild camping should you camp close to other people to confine the impact on the land in to a small area? Camp away from other people on trails. Camp near trails, uh, so other people are aware that you're there. Oh, no. the second, keeping your distance from other people is great is a good way to protect the quality of their experience. If you wanted to be among around other people, they. If they wanted to be around other people, they would have booked into an to, into the nearest campground ground instead. This 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 yeah, and prevents the creating of campsites and trails. Ah, uh, whatever. Which of the following is a leave no trace principle? Wait until you are away from other people, until you start shouting and making loud noises. 
do not build structures, furnace or dig trenches. If you if you come across letter covered up that one. Although being loud when no one is around is a good way to respect their time in the wilderness. There's plenty of unseen wildlife. Uh, although being loud with when no one else is around is a good way to respect their time in the wilderness, there's plenty of unseen wildlife that won't enjoy your cacophony, cacophony of excitement and may be scared of by the noise. So keep volumes to a normal level at all times. There are there may be times of emergency when digging a trench or building a structure is essential, otherwise it is an unnecessary impact on the land, so don't do it. Even if it's not your litter, you should take it with you. It may have been dropped or left by accident. Uh, when planning a trip, you sh should you choose to go to the busy go at choose to go at the busiest time to concentrate the use prepare for extreme weather has this and emergencies wait until you get there to see what regulations and special uh, concerns apply to the area that one uh, it is always best to avoid the busy, ter busy times when pos where possible. Not only will it minimise the impact on the land, but it will also be a much more enjoyable experience. Being prepared is key and any regulation or special concerns should be respected before you even decide upon your trip. Uh, you've uh, you've reached a muddy section of a trail. What should you do? Walk straight through it, walk around it, even if it means treading on pl plants. Uh, find some rocks and sticks. To, uh, walk right, walk right straight through it. Mud muddy boots is all part of being being in the wild. Embrace it. Ideally, ideally, hikers should walk in single file sticking in the middle of the trail and although building steps uh, stepping stones would be a smart solution it is best to leave nature natural objects plants and rocks as they as they are found you've been lucky enough to get close to a small wild animal should you entice it closer uh, to you with food and get a better look, make a loud noise to, dis to discourage it from human contact, quietly watch it from a distance. Observe wildlife from a distance and don't follow or approach them. Wild animals should never be fed as it's dangerous to their health or uh, alters alters natural behaviours and exposes them to predators and other dangers. And finally, cooking on a gas stove is worse from the, for the land and campfires. False. Uh, campfires can cause lasting impacts on the back country. Where is the, where's the use of lightweight cooking stove, even gas fueled, leaves no impact at all? Well, Te technically speaking it does but uh, yeah anyway I've got 10 out of 10 for that well done you're done you've done great but we only touched upon the principles so take a read of the of them in more depth to get get a much more thorough understanding of what it is to truly enjoy the wild, the wildness without leaving your mark. Yeah, got a bunch of uh, things by uh, 
Joey Holmes based in Cornwall UK so yeah yeah I definitely would like to um, go on some wild adventures especially if it's in Norway because I didn't know Norway was it one of those countries where it's legal to wild camp so yeah anyway until next time ladies and gentlemen tally